Hey guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed this makeup look right here, obviously because it's, it's on my face. Now I know I did say that I was going to do this as an affordable makeup look. I mean I would say it's semi affordable. I did originally start off using, I was trying to do a mixture of the two, the W7 Cosmetics. Um, so I started using that when I was like trying out the eyeshadows on um, my one eye, which I did off camera. But I just found that it wasn't, it just wasn't going as dark as what I wanted it to. So I did end up in the end using my Morphe 35P palette. So obviously it's not as cheap as the W7. Because um, I think it's about £23 for that palette compared to I think the like six, seven pounds. Um, I will try and do like another kind of like dark smoky eye look with an affordable palette at some point. I'm gonna go on the hunt, look around and see what I can find. And then there will be a repeat of this look. Everything else though, I think the only thing that wasn't of like an affordable thing was my mascara because I couldn't find the one that I wanted so I just used my usual one. Everything else though, the lips is Barry M. Um, I've got my Maybelline foundation, um, my Technic contour kit, so everything else is like affordable drugstore makeup so it's like a semi affordable dark vampy double dark makeup look. I hope that you enjoy the tutorial and I will send you off now. Okay, so I'm just going to start out with that shade by there and I'm going to take that on my Spectrum Fluffy Crease Brush. This brush probably does have a number. B06. Yeah, I did originally start out using the W7 Cosmetics palette but it just wasn't like it just wasn't the look that I was going for. This isn't like I, I do I do like the W7 brand. I think they are, you know, good for the money. But I wanted something like really dark, really pigmented, and I felt like it wasn't well, I probably could have got there eventually, but basically I just didn't wanna have to spend ages to try and build up the level of pigment that I was looking for. I'm then gonna take that pink shade by there. Again, just on the same brush, and then we're going to start building up that pinky plummy tone. So I just go back and forth in the crease, making sure it's all blended out, and then I will tear my brush on the side and start to pull that outwards then. So that's what's going to give that kind of like almond shape. I'm going to go in with a slightly more tapered brush, and I'm going to take a mixture of those two shades and then start popping that mainly on the outer corner and then taking it in through the crease. So you want to keep majority of the colour on this outer portion and then slowly blending it in. And then going in with the original brush and just blending up those edges then. So with an even smaller brush now. I'm going to start going in with that shade by there and I'm going to start placing that on that outer corner and going back in with that brush then. I'll take the brush and again just blending that. And you can occasionally go back in with your original, you can go back with your original blending brush to really like buff all those colours together then. I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades, again on that small brush, and then just place that in the exact same place as we put that dark cranberry shade. I'm going to start taking the mixture of the two shades I was just used on the top underneath. And 
tape out all the way in and then start buffing that. Then taking some of that shade again and taking that underneath the eye as well. This look is about it being as dark and dramatic and smoky as possible. So I'm going to take a mixture of that one and this shade. So the pink is a little, it's like a little bit too dark, but then the um, the like lighter key shade is just a little bit not the right colour. Then just taking the light highlighting shade, so it's just like a champagne gold colour. So I've got that on the other side of the brush, so it's not going to be crazy lilac under the bone highlight. So get your wet wipe then and start cleaning that up a bit. And now for the eyeliner, so I'm using the Rimmel Scandalize 24 hour waterproof coal gel. So it looks like that, so I freshly sharpened it. So I'm gonna go along the top lash line with that. So I was gonna go in with a liquid line and I thought you can actually make like a similar effect with this. And it's just slightly softer. And then right at the end then, start pulling it outwards a little bit. So just like you normally would with your liquid liner, just pull out a little bit. And then make sure that's all joined up. And I take the small angle brush then and then just start to buff that out then. So it's that like you've still got the the flick. There's just like a nice like soft smoky look to it. And I like to do the same along the back of the lash line as well. So it just gives it more of like a softer look. You can go back in, darken it up if you want to. I would say be quite quick with this product because it does set. So I would just do the one eye at a time. So pretty much once it's set then, you'd have to take off everything. And who's got time for that really? And then I like to take this in the tight line, the waterline, so close your eyes and then just run that along the top and the bottom. And that's the easiest, most painless way to do it. So at this point, before I add the mascara, I just like to have a look and see if I need to add any more um, like shadow anywhere. So what I'll probably do is darken up this outside crease. So going back in with that really dark kind of plummy cranberry shade. And I'm going in with mascara. I was going to use my W7 mascara, but for the life of me, I cannot find where it's gone. So I'm just going to go in with my usual Steeler one. Uh, I'm actually not going to go in with false lashes. Obviously, if you want to, you can, you do you. I feel like when I've got black eyeliner on the tight line, it actually makes my lashes look quite thick anyway. There you go, so as I did my eyes, I will zoom you up now. So now onto the skin. It's pretty much uh, the same as what I used in my last affordable makeup tutorial. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless Normal to Oily Skin Foundation, and this is in 250 Sun Beige. And then it's gonna blend that out. My ears are going proper red it's really warm in this room. Don't get necessarily the rooms warm, but the uh, light that I've got, um, the ring light, it gives off so much heat. Okay, so I'm actually using something slightly different for my contour. I'm going in with the Barry M Chisel Cheeks Contour Cream. This actually come in a set, so it's got this kind and it's got a um, like a highlighting concealer shade. That is just completely the wrong shade for my skin, so I don't use that, but I do like this. And I'm going to start to blend on in with a U Spicy number 27 brush. Which has got something highly suspicious looking stuck to the end to it. It was just like a fluff stuck to the end to it, I don't even know how. So I think it's like a foundation brush but like a angled one. Yeah, I do quite like the U Spicy brushes. Um, the face brushes are really, really good. The eye ones, I'm not a huge fan of. 
because I like my um, eyeshadow brushes and like blending brushes to be really soft and they're slightly more on the harder side and because my eyes become like really sensitive that anything too like rough is just like nope. So I'm going in with my Kiko Full Coverage Concealer and this is in the shade number 6 and I'm actually going in with this concealer brush as well, again from You Spicy, and it's number 26. I've been loving using this brush, from, especially for my under eye concealer, because it's obviously flat. So I can really be like precise, whereas with like the Beauty Blender it just kind of goes a little bit everywhere. But this is really good because I do like to... Um, like I said, I'm not someone who likes to do the top part of my eye, then do like my base and then go back and do the bottom half. Because I like to use my concealer as like an extra bit of like tidy up, cleaning up. I'm going in with my Technic Colour Fix Contour Kit. I'm going to go in with the You Spicy number 29 brush. I'm going to assume this is a contour brush, it looks very much like a contour brush, and I'm going to take those two shades and then I'm actually going to mix that shade by there with that shade. So the one slightly more peachy, the one slightly more yellow toned and I'm going under the eyes and set that concealer into place, clean up that contour a little bit. So just in the centre of the forehead to brighten and I'm going to do that around my nose and my mouth and that'll be on the other chin everywhere really. Then I'm going to take the darker two shades at the end, mix those together and that's going to be for my bronze then, I'm just using it on the same brush. Not for any particular reason just because I can't be bothered to around and getting another one. And then I'm going to take the highlight shade by there, run that along the top of the cheekbone then, and on the old nose. Then I'm going in with my Nip and Fab blusher palette in 01 Blushed. And I'm going to take the bottom two shades. I want something quite neutral, I didn't want anything too like pinky or peach. Now for the double dark bit, I recently got this Barry M Matte Me Up Liquid Lip Paint uh, and this is in number 731 Cirque, like, it's like Cirque du Soleil, something like that. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, um, like plummy colour. I did used to have a Barry M lip liner which was pretty would have been like the perfect shade for this but again I can't find it. So I'm going in with a lip brush. This is a used by C1 number five. Taking a little bit of that. This is quite tricky to work with. It can it can turn into a real mess, so this is probably what is gonna take the longest. Oh my god, my eye is like twitching just like out of nerves. So I'm trying to use the tip of the brush with as little product as possible to act like a lip liner. Okay, and there you have it. This is the finished look. I feel like a very vampy, sassy little lady right now. I really hope you like this tutorial. This is very, very different to what I would usually wear on a day-to-day -day basis, but you know what? It's autumn, winter. If you can't put on loads of makeup, then when can you? Thank you for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.